Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we got some more feature challenges to knock out, starting with boss battle. Tier 4 monkeys versus Super BFB. Super BFB being a 2000% Moab health one. Slower, not a lot of ceramic health, and very slow balloon speed. $60,000 we have to start. Most things are 444, but there's some other things that I can't fully go for. So thinking about the best 4th tiers that I can get in the game, I'm thinking Super Monkey. Can we afford anything? We won't have enough for Dark Champion, just because of the upgrades before it, but we can go for like Attack Terror. I don't believe there's Camo Balloons, but I'll take a look real quick. Nope, no Camo Balloons in sight. We got $17,000 to get something else up, so let's go for a Arc Mage with Wall of Fire. We have $3,000 left, we'll just see where this takes us to see if this is enough or not. And this BFB is for sure slow. Time to use his ability to see if it does any damage, I'm not too sure if that was in the range or not. We're doing pretty good damage, but we do also have the MOABs inside that are going to be very strong as well. Our cooldown ability seems to be normal, and so far we're doing a few lo little layers on the BFB damage-wise. There's another ability used. Seems like we're like about halfway, maybe a little bit more than halfway through this BFB layer. I'm not too sure how many more we have left, but one more ability should get it pretty low to the point where it can pop about any second now. There it is. So there's our pop. We got four MOABs inside. I'm not too sure if we're going to be able to pop them. The ceramics inside are very weak. And this might save us right here, this little viewing here. There we go, we pop all of them and we do it first try, awesome. We don't even need to worry about the ending little bit that you can see. Moving on. Mlokulus challenge, M-L-O-K-U-L-U-S is challenge. 89% beat this, round 80, 67,000. Ice Sniper Village. I suppose we will go and do just that. Sniper Monkey, we're just gonna go top path cripple moab with even faster shooting with an ice tower of this middle path absolute zero larger radius and we'll also get some jungle drums and radar scanner as well now i probably didn't go for the best upgrades in terms of the ice man but i don't think it really it's gonna matter too much i'm gonna be completely honest i think we're gonna be taking this out with flying colors no matter what the ice tower upgrade was you know what? i don't even use the ability and we have one more bfb here we got three moabs left two moabs left one moab left and the ceramics inside and they're all cleared out moving on uh clean up on aisle 163 163 cash 163 16,300 lives that is 163 to 163 two monkeys allowed to use slow everything specific towers to use this is gonna be a pretty fun challenge i think i have no idea what 163 is i'm guessing it's probably gonna be a ceramic rush out of its mind oh what is going on here it looks like you're putting in like a bunch of staplers in a stapler Does that makes sense what am i supposed to do okay what's some of the best ceramic popping power we have in the game this tower is phenomenal glaive lord with such i'm also going to get a pretty good ice tower and that's my two towers i guess let's see if this is going to be enough this is not going to be enough at all actually i don't have any lead popping power i don't think anyways so that's a mistake but the ceramics are also not getting popped either probably use the tech terror ability and clean them all up our ability cooldown rate is only 20 one more tower that we can use we can go for the do we have it we can go for primary expertise can't go for any other cross path with the village so as soon as these these balloons kind of get over here i'm gonna press the one key right now now we just gotta do that a few more times actually we can just keep doing this the ability comes out so fast there we go we beat it super simple use abilities moving on broken tamagothsi i don't know if i'm saying that right however eight percent people beat this this is gonna be a tough challenge what do we got around 31 12,000, default stuff, high ability cooldown rate, specific towers, one life. So the only limit we have is on the glue gunner. We can't go to the top path for the glue gunner. Banana, village, ice cannon, glue on round 31, which is just white, black, and zebra balloons. So basically everything that I have, I can't really use. I can only use one of each tower. Now, the only thing I know that I can pop black balloons in regards to cannons is its frag bits that come out of him. So I'm gonna go balloon impact on this guy. And then I'll go for something a little bit more subtle. Arctic wind, we can go, is there camo balloons on round 31? There shouldn't be. Larger radius and refreeze. And we can get a glue gunner slow stuff down because we can afford it. So here we go. We're doing some pretty good black popping power. And seems like that's going to be a wrap. And I figured it out pretty quick because I knew frag bombs pop black balloons. Moving on. I'm surprised only 8% of people beat that. I, I feel like that was more common, common knowledge, I suppose. Sniper's range. 31%. We have 010 sniper, 220 sub, round 30. 3,790, balloon speed slow, and we have to pop some lead balloons. Okay, so this is what we gotta do. We gotta place a sub basically right here with infinite range and put the sniper monkey here, here, and here with specific upgrades. Okay, well, 
Seems like this is all we're going to be needing. Hopefully we don't leak a little bit, because that could happen. Nope, we're good. We just got to put the sniper's range in the range of the balloons so the sub can see them. Moving on. 4K, almost 4K, around 49. I can't remember what 49 is, so a whole bunch of greens, a whole bunch of rainbows. Okay, I believe there's going to be ceramics that come. Yes, okay. So I do remember this round because this round can be a little tough. And we got some zebras at the end too. And possibly some more. I don't know. 4,000 bucks to get rid of that. That's not a lot of money, but we're going to go for someone that we know very well. Druid of the Jungle. We can even put an Alchemist. Because the Alchemist can do some very basic damage to a lot of balloons. The Druid's also just cracked. And he's just insane. But the Ceramics are also insane. So we're going to see if we can take these out before they get to the end. We do have 150 lives if anything leaks through, though. There's a lot leaking through, but we do clean it off only with 47 lost lives. We still have a whole bunch of mess going on here. We are accumulating money. This is... Some stuff's gonna leak through, but we have 25 lives to spare, and we do it with basically just a druid and a 000 alchemist. Moving on. No inferno ring? What's the solution? Round 76. One monkey. Two lives. 54,000 bucks. Regrowth rate of 36. Very specific numbers here. So no inferno ring, huh? I'm gonna be just short, aren't I? Yeah, so that's the point. Well, we can't use Glaive Lord. That was gonna be my next choice. Maybe try Balloon Crush. Can we afford it? No, we didn't even have enough money to start with it. I don't know what I was thinking there. Balloon Solver. Nope. Can't afford it. They know. Not can't afford it. Just not allowed. Elite Defenders. Not allowed. I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to have enough for it. We do. Okay, we have Kamachi Commander with some pursuit action. Let's see, is this gonna be enough? Yeah, that, that was a clean sweep. No need for Inferno Ring. We have, what is it called again? <laughs> Kamachi Commander. Moving on, no name. Round 100, $703,000. Every tower allowed to use in the game. A very strong bad balloon. 703,000? Is that like just short of something insane, like a Paragon? Still don't have any Paragons except for the Dart Monkeys, which I guess we can go for. Okay, Apex Plasma Master. First time ever buying a Paragon. Let's just go all the way up. And our Paragon number is 52. Will this be enough? I have no idea. Holy crap, that is... <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting, but I've never used a Paragon before, so that was fun looking. Didn't do crap, though. All right, well, here's all our stuff. Let's see if this is going to be even close to enough. Order right upgrades. Ugh. Wow, that did nothing. There's probably something that has to push these balloons back. Oh, what? <laughs> oh my god. I wasn't speaking because I was just testing something. I was testing to see if the Legend of the Night was able to go and see through walls. That's literally the only reason why I did that and not considering that he could just do that. Wow, okay. Moving on. Monkey Wizard 01's challenge. Around 43,000. Slow mo-up speed, a little bit heavier mo-up itself, low ceramic health, and a huge ability cooldown. We can remove this stuff for nothing, so why wouldn't we? Maybe that's the trick. Maybe we need like, oh, there's some off limit stuff here. Only one monkey allowed to use and no selling as well. Makes me believe that it might be Bionic Boomerang. He's doing some decent damage so far. If he pops this Moab, I think the ceramics might be pretty easy inside for this guy. Yeah, it is. Can he get enough though? Yes, he can. Let's go. First try with a tower that I didn't think was gonna work. Moving on. I didn't think I was going to get through all of these in one video, to be honest, but I have three challenges left. Two of them are over 90% completed. So, starting off with the first of two easy challenges. How many 000 snipers does it take? Round 40 and then just spamming snipers down. Overkill much, or do you think I need more? All right. Well, that was easy. Hey, look. My guy got five pops. Man, let me try and find him. Found him. He was right here. Well, that was fun. There's probably a few of them with five pops. A lot of twos and a lot of threes, but this is the guy that I found first that has five pops. Moving on. $111,000 to defend bad with only wizard. Okay, whatever. I don't think I need the bottom path. I think these are the two that are going to work. Super slow bad, by the way. It is also weaker, slower, and worse in general. So let's get this full up because this guy does a ton of damage. He's actually insanely good. Like one of the better towers in all of the game, I believe. And if not, that's just me just guessing. So... Don't take my word for it. So let's get this ability up, and there we go. We immediately clean it up. All right, one more challenge left in today's featured challenge video. So let's see what it looks like. Moving on. Camera Potatoes Challenge. It's not cameras. Camera. Camera Potatoes Challenge. Last one. 
is going to be good. 78 to 79, two monkeys allowed to use, $82,000, no selling, all camo, ability cooldown right through the roof, regrowth right through the roof, slow mob, and very fast balloon speed. With all the towers in the game, I want to start off with a balloon slowdown device called Absolute Zero. I don't, do I need leads? I probably do need lead popping power, so I'm going to go for the cold snap. Plus, everything's camo, so good thing I did that. Second tower, I have some room to play around with, so I'm gonna just go for Glaive Lord with Red Hot Rangs and see if this is gonna be suffice. Oh! Okay, we do end up taking that one down. Didn't know it was gonna happen, but we, you know, we did it. Whole bunch of ceramics. Is there gonna be another one that I'm gonna be surprised by, or is it just gonna be a BFB or something at the end here? Seems like a pretty steady balloon round. Just a bunch of rainbows coming out. Here's our BFB that's gonna take a sweet time getting to us, man. This is gonna take five minutes. Oh, unless we die here. Nope. Okay, we're good here. Maybe I can slow it down even more by pressing one. No, I'm not gonna do that to myself. I'm just gonna wait this out and speed it up right now, so you can see how long it takes. Oh, we popped a BFB without even me realizing it. I thought it was going to take longer, but we do take out the BFB immediately. And now we got round 79, which is just more rainbow balloons and more BFBs and more Moabs, probably. That's still going to take its sweet freaking time to get to us. Is there anything else balloon-wise i got to worry about on this round? Nope, okay, I guess it's just two BFBs that, again, it's just going to take forever. Once it's in this guy's circle, it's pretty much game over. I'm not worried about the fortified. They're all weak. It's just the balloons inside. I'm not too sure if this ice monkey is doing his job or if it's just this guy cleaning house. I think we're getting kind of close to this guy's circle, though. I don't know if it's as soon as it creeps into its circle, he can start attacking. Or if it's like, you know, a little bit in it. I don't know. But about to approach the circle. Is he going to attack now? Yes, he will. He takes on the first one immediately. And we got some more ceramics, but again, not a big deal for the Lave Lord. We got two more BFBs here. I believe they're both certified. <laughs> they're both certified mo they're both certified bfbs oh my goodness i meant fortified but we end up absolutely obliterating it thank you guys for watching if you guys like this video feel free to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one take care